Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you're new here, hey, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing, and if you are back, welcome back. Today, I am here with my March month in review video. In these month in review videos, which I've been doing for a bit over a year now, I like to just recap the past month and show you some of my completed diamond painting projects, uh, especially the ones that I maybe didn't do a separate dedicated post review video to. I really love you guys getting the chance to see these completed projects because then you have a sense for what is a particular diamond painting kit going to look like once it's complete or at the very least what can I expect from a particular diamond painting company so I really hope that these videos are really helpful for you and a little bit more <laughs> digestible than a huge year in review video and a little bit more of a snapshot than a longer individual post review I also like to just touch on maybe some goals I have for the upcoming month or some exciting things that are coming so without further ado I want to go ahead and dive into this so um, in the month of March uh, 2022 if you're <laughs> if, if I've had enough of these years like what year is it uh, 2022 I completed four diamond paintings and um, I'm going into April with one whip or one work in progress um, I put up 19 videos on my YouTube channel not including my patreon vlogs yes I have a I do have a patreon they get lots of behind the scenes info and stuff if you're interested in finding out more about that I have info down in the description but no pressure um, and then finally also just wanted to mention, um, just because I want you guys to be aware of some um, special things that I'm doing to celebrate this particular milestone, but I reached 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel, which is completely bonkers and really exciting. So I'm celebrating with you all um, and will be for the next couple of weeks yet. So uh, I'll just say, make sure that you're watching my videos. <laughs> if you wanna be able to uh, celebrate with some give backs with me. Anyway, thank you guys so much for being a huge part of that. Um, I I still am in shock and just super, super grateful. Uh, also in the month of, of March, uh, I participated in the Emerald Along event that was hosted by my friend Lindsay over at Emeralds and Fairy Lights, as well as the Mermaids and Magic event that was hosted by my friend Randy uh, you can call me butter and Shay over at crafting with Shay. It was really fun to participate in both of those events. So let me go ahead and dive into showing you the actual kits that I completed. So first, this actually did come with me into the month of March as a whip. This is the absolutely lovely Fox Bliss. This is from Diamond Dots. And while it's not my first kit that I've worked on from Diamond Dots, um, I think it's my second, maybe third. Um, it's the first partial that I've worked on from them. Now, when I say partial, what I mean is, it's a phrase that we just use in diamond painting that refers to like if if the entire canvas is not diamond painted. So in this case, you can see that like this background, it's like painted, you know? And just part of the canvas has diamonds on it. Look how cute these boxes are. Uh, so this is a partial. This was truly lovely to work on. Um, diamond dots, their diamonds or their drills are so incredibly sparkly. I've heard people talk about that quite a lot before, just about how Diamond Dots has these really, like the sparkliest round drills ever. <laughs> and they are very, very, very sparkly. It would do, um, it would do this this more justice if I were like out in natural daylight, but they are very, 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 very sparkly. Uh, this kit, this one had a lot of special meaning to me. You probably, if you've watched some of my other videos or saw me share the finished picture on Instagram, saw me mention that um, this has special meaning to me because I associate foxes with my oldest son, Connor. Um, we did his whole nursery and everything baby related in a fox theme when he was a baby he's six now um but shortly after starting working on this kit was when he had to go in for emergency surgery and i returned to this kit after he had come home and things were kind of a little bit leveled out again and so i'm gonna have a lot of emotions attached to this kit um i i rarely display my paintings once they're completed but i have to say that it's very tempting um to frame this one or just or hang it in some way if not in his room just in my own space somewhere but um i will say that while i don't normally reach for diamond dots canvases because the artwork doesn't always speak to me not because i have a problem with diamond dots um and while i don't normally reach for partials i truly truly loved and enjoyed so much about working on this canvas that i really think that i will be reaching for both again in the future 
Uh, this kit had 23 colors and it uses diamond dots numbering system. So while just about all the other companies out there use the DMC numbering system for their diamonds, um, diamond dots has their own set of numbers. Now, if certain ones like 8001, like this is a 310, this is just a black diamond. Now, I believe that there are conversion charts out there um, I will see if I can dig one up and link to one in this video, uh, if I can find it. <laughs> but I believe that there are conversion charts from the Diamond Dots numbering system to the DMC. So if you like to save your diamonds after you complete a project, especially sparkly and amazing quality ones like these, um, you can do so and have it be consistent with the numbering system of the rest of your diamonds. Uh, interestingly enough, I had also heard that Diamond Dots drills are very, very staticky. This was also the experience for me. For every single one of these colors, I had to cut up a square, a little square fire sheet and stick it in the bag with them just to get the static out enough that I could pour it into the storage containers that I used. But uh, that, that's not a big deal, honestly. Static, a lot of that can be weather dependent anyway. Anyway, this was my first finish of the month. Like I said, I, I brought it into the month as a whip because I had worked on maybe a third of it at that point and I'm really happy with how it turned out. <laughs> so this was Fox Bliss from Diamond Dots. It is licensed, by the way. Um, they licensed it through Shutterstock, which is a completely legitimate way to license artwork. So yay, I will link to this kit. I'll link to all the kits that I share with you today down in the, in the description if you're interested in checking this out for yourself. I have also seen this one in particular in stock at, I believe, Joann's. So you can check for it there. All right, let me shift this one to the side. My second finish of the month was this absolutely lovely The Beekeeper. <laughs> this is by the artist Raven Phelan and is from Diamond Art Club. This was a kit that I had received as a sneak peek and I got it in early enough that I actually I filmed the sneak peek portion of it early and started working on it right away. And so by the time that this, that I was actually putting up my sneak peek, I was able to add in a clip where I could share what a good part of this canvas looked like as it was worked on. I think I had about a third of it done, maybe closer to a half. Um, and I just am in love with it. <laughs> it uh, it's no secret, I'm kind of a broken record, but I talk a lot about how I, how much I adore Raven Phelan's dragons, and I adore how Diamond Art Club's rendering style matches so well with her artwork. Their rendering team does an incredible job, and I know knew as soon as this one um, was released that I was just going to have to work on it immediately. I love all the soft colors in it, all of the lavenders and the pale greens. Is this not just so beautifully blended? Now, a couple things I wanted to point up, out about this. Um, this has square diamonds and it had a couple of things of note. So first, it absolutely had Diamond Art Club's new square diamonds. Back in the fall, of 2021, maybe summer, Diamond Art Club started manufacturing all of their diamonds in-house and we started seeing them appear in kits around then. Um, it's been a transition, so a lot of kits have had a mix of the old and the new diamonds in them. They did start producing their uh, own rounds in-house as well, but uh, squares I think we maybe see the most noticeable difference because... Now, all of the square drills are cut with 13 facets on top, and the old ones were cut uh, with a mix of 9 and 13. Uh, the new square diamonds are also just the tiniest, tiniest bit smaller than the old squares. So um, starting a little bit before this kit came out, so maybe about a month ago from uh, you know the time that this video is going up, um, they began to actually, they tightened up the grid just a little bit, I believe, to accommodate for the fact that their new square diamonds are just a tiny bit smaller. So while there are some kits kind of in that transition that are gonna have a tiny bit of gapping, this has no gapping, the squares fit like a dream, and they didn't pop either. <laughs> this kit was an absolute joy and pleasure to work on from start to finish. Oh my goodness. Let me show off some of the different elements of it to you. So of course, the reason that it is called the beekeeper is because, well, I'm just gonna flop right down there. Diamond Art Club's canvases are magical, you guys. <laughs> um, the bees on this Celtic knot down here, there are these amazing white ABs in the bees wings. Say that five times fast. <laughs> that give these wings an amazing like gossamer, like semi-transparent effect. Um, that outlines a lot of the bees' wings. We have these really pretty pale yellow ABs, like literally doing highlighting on the dragon's face. But my favorite part, easily, easily in the entire kit, 
Look at the dragon's eyes, that incredible purple AB that is so striking. The shading in these is incredible. You guys, Diamond Art Club is killing it with rendering these pieces. Oh my goodness. Now, something I hadn't really noticed until I had gotten to the end of the kit, which I started at the bottom and worked my way up to the top, I like hadn't even realized that, oh my gosh, there are these beautiful uh, lavender stocks that are like crowning the dragon's forehead and these have purple ab's in them as well i do have to say that this kit was quite confetti heavy there was a little bit of color blocking up here at the top in this background area but look at the level of detail and the variation in the shading of the different parts of the dragon every single aspect of this dragon was just charted to perfection and um you can see this really beautiful subtle blending from like all these just really different shades of the uh, different slightly different shades of the same color of green i'm sure there's an official like artist term for that but it made the blending really gorgeous now um just to give you quick stats on this so this kit was uh was listed at 51 by 71 centimeters it had 45 colors including a total of four ab's like I said, square diamonds, and this was really amazing to work on. And it's always a treat when I get a sneak peek early enough and that the timing works out and I'm in the mood to work on it, that I can work on it a little bit ahead of the actual sneak peek video so you guys can see a little bit of what a kit looks like completed. I'm not sure if this is still in stock on the Diamond Art Club website. I don't think that it was limited edition at the time that it released, but keep in mind that Diamond Art Club is discontinuing uh, kits a bit more often lately because they're releasing so many new kits, they're literally running out of warehouse space. So I strongly recommend that you're keeping an eye on your wish list to see if anything there has been changed to limited edition status and um, make sure you pick it up if it is <laughs> and even if it's not maybe just to be safe pick it up so anyway this was the beekeeper and i love this i love it i love it <laughs> let me go ahead and shift this to the side my third finish for the month this i did just recently do a post review on so if you're curious to hear some really in-depth thoughts on this piece i will link to that post review below this kit is Celestine. It is from the artist Margaret Morales and is licensed by and sold by DIY Moon Shop or Die Moon Shop. This kit was, I believe, 50 by 63 centimeters, yes, with round drills, 32 colors. I'll turn it sideways so you can see more of her in frame. Um, and this was a really incredibly sweet gift from a very dear friend. Um, I knew that I wanted to work on this right away. <laughs> I was feeling something with just really beautiful muted tones. I was really curious to work on another of Die Moon Shop's uh, upgraded kits with, they just have made some changes to their kits in the past six or nine months. And so I was really curious to try another one of these, specifically by Margaret Morales. This was perfect in a lot of ways to, to work on this. And I'm really, really happy with how she turned out. Um, it's interesting probably seeing this back to back with the beekeeper just now. I'm guessing that you may have noticed a really stark difference between the rendering styles. And that's not a bad thing. I actually love it. I love that we have these different companies that are licensing from different artists that I feel like really lend themselves to their respective rendering styles. So for example, in this case, Margaret Morales' artwork has a much more dreamy and light effect, almost like a watercolory effect. And I feel that that really, really suits Diamond Shop's rendering style, which is almost with a lighter hand. Um, and where you really see all of these dreamy elements come together, especially when you pull back a bit. As opposed to Diamond Art Club, the kit we just looked at from Raven Phelan, it's much more crisp and lots of clean lines. Um, it's been hand charted to perfection. <laughs> uh, it's just, it's a different approach. And I truly, truly believe that neither one is better than the other. I think that different rendering styles really suit different artists well. And I think that actually these two kits that I've just showed you are really really good examples of that actually so i really adored working on this kit it was quite confetti heavy uh, you also hear me mention in the post review video about how all of the symbols on the canvas were alphanumeric so entirely 
letters of the alphabet or numbers. And for me, that was, it's not what I'm used to working on. And so between that and the confetti, this piece did take a little bit longer to complete. I want to say it took me, I don't know, a week and a half where I might a piece the size might otherwise take me about a week. <laughs> not a huge difference, but to me, it felt like it was taking a little bit more brain power. That's probably a better way to put it. But this, uh, this was a really lovely piece to work on. I hadn't worked on a diamond shop kit in a little while. And like I said, was really curious to see how Margaret Morales's artwork translated to um, their new kits and their, their new kind of approach or their upgraded kits. <laughs> so uh, just look at how beautiful she is. I love it. I just saw that they actually announced that there's going to be some new artwork that's going to be released by them from her. So I am stalking their website and ready to uh, take a look at what they're what they're releasing. So just a quick note, I should have mentioned this with the Diamond Art Club kit as well, but I'm actually I'm an affiliate for both Diamond Shop and Diamond Art Club. Um, believe it or not, those are only, those are just two of the, I only have three affiliate relationships with com with diamond painting companies. Um, that's really, really important to me that I keep those limited because then I feel like I can be really authentic and honest. Um, if you're interested in any potential like discount codes or promotions for either of those, I'm going to have all the info down in the description box. Feel free to take a look, but no obligation. I also just wanted to mention that that affiliate relationship is there. So Anyway, this is finish number three for the month. I'm gonna move this over and pull out my last finish. Last but not least, this hasn't even been shown on my Instagram as a finish yet, at least as, as of the time of this filming. But this, you guys, this is Heart Air Balloon. This is by the heart artist Howie Green and was legally licensed by none other than Sparkle Queen Creations. You guys, Sparkle Queen Creations was a company that was started by the fabulous Mitzi. Uh, she started out with just self-publishing her own artwork because she's an artist herself, obsessed with all things rainbow. Um, she started self-publishing her own artwork as diamond paintings through there. And then with her second round of kits, she began licensing artwork from Howie Green as well, which Howie Green's artwork is lots of rainbows as well. So it suits it very perfectly. I picked this up several months ago actually and had not had the chance to work on it yet. This is the first kit that I've completed from Sparkle Queen. And isn't this just so fun and so beautiful? So um, this kit, let me see, what was the size on it? Is it up here? I think it was up here. Uh, 40 by 55 centimeters and it had was it 43 colors it doesn't have the number here I think it was 43 um, and has round diamonds now I believe that on her website in her shop you can order any of the kits in either round or square drills she tests out all of her kits and and hand charts them to the smallest detail and I think that you can see it so beautifully in this piece the whole background is one solid color as opposed to sometimes you know, you'll see random confetti bits or something. No, it's one solid color and it's gorgeous. I love a bit of the blending down here and then just like, oh my gosh, the swirls of color in here aren't those so gorgeous. Now these diamonds, they're resin diamonds. She advertises them as such. And as I was working with them, I was like, Okay, I'm continuing to feel more and more confident about my ability to tell the difference between resin and acrylic. These absolutely feel like resin to me. They're very, very sparkly because they're, they're very, very faceted. So the quality on these drills was really, really good. There was a decent amount of color blocking in this kit, so it went quickly. Uh, something that I want to point out as well that I don't think you tend to see quite as often with companies that have licensed artwork is that Sparkle Queen Creations does use double-sided adhesive for their canvases as opposed to poured glue. Now, um, she uses a really high quality double-sided adhesive, but the reality is that it's still different to work on than poured glue is. The main difference that I notice working on this kit, because the majority of kits that I work on have poured glue, not this double-sided adhesive, which is basically like a really, really sticky tape. That main difference that I notice is that once I have placed the drills on the canvas, I can't really shift or wiggle them around at all. Whereas poured glue tends to let you do that a bit more. 
So I was multi-placing my way through this background, but I wasn't able to go back and do really minute corrections very easily. So if you take a look, you can see where there are, you know, shifts <laughs> where you can see where I have multi-placed in there. I tried to go back and nudge diamonds into place a little bit, but I just thought it's really, it's okay. <laughs> it doesn't have to be totally, totally perfect. But you guys, I really thought thoroughly enjoyed working on this beautiful piece. Again, this was Heart Air Balloon. Um, it worked up so fast, like four days. I squeezed it in. I did not expect to finish it before the end of the month, but I literally finished it at like 11 p.m. on the last day of March. Um, but it just, it zipped right by. I am really looking forward to seeing, I think that they're going to be announcing some new releases soon, maybe over at Sparkle Queen. And you know that I'm going to be keeping an eye out for those. And I really do see myself purchasing from them again, because I did thoroughly enjoy working on this kit. And I love, love, love supporting small businesses, especially people like Mitzi, the Sparkle Queen, uh, who are self-publishing and really doing amazing things with their artwork and in the community. So this was finish number four for the month. And so what I have next to show you is my one whip that I have going into April. So my one whip is this massive project. <laughs> so this is my cross stitch conversion to a diamond painting project. Uh, the title of this piece is Dragon Race into the Night. And I purchased the cross stitch chart from Heaven and Earth Designs. And I purchased the canvases and the diamonds from Cooper Diamond Art. Now I did this month, I did finally post an update video <laughs> where I kind of showed you what I had worked on so far and shared some of my my sort of first round of thoughts ever after having worked on one of these kinds of projects for the first time. Um, I'd encourage you to go take a look at that video. Like I said, if you want to dive into like a lot of the nitty gritty, um, this is more of a snapshot kind of video, but uh, you can see that we have gotten into more of a dragon here, which is really, really cool. Now, full disclosure. <laughs> uh, so today is actually April 2nd, and I've been working on this a lot today in particular, like a lot. So at the end of March, I had completed about two here. So like from here over here was not completed <laughs> at the end of March, if you really want to get technical. But I had at least gotten to like this knight or whomever this dragon rider that's riding this dragon i had completed him and um i think i reached about 13 and a half percent completion as of the end of march now how do i know that <laughs> well i use an, an app called pattern keeper that's where i read my cross stitch chart and mark off um, when I've, you know, placed diamonds. So I know how much I, you know, that a particular, you know, color has been completed or whatever. If you're curious about my whole approach to it, like I said, I'm going to link to the update video that I did recently. Uh, but that tells me exactly what percentage I'm at. Now, um, after that video, I had talked in that video, I had talked about how because I was dealing with some real popping drills, problems with popping drills on this canvas that I was going to try my hand at sealing it. And I have so spoiler, I suppose I have sealed at least like the top row of the painting and you know, up to where I had then taken a little bit of a break, which is around here. Um, I did put a layer of min wax on there. I'll talk about it more in my next update video, but I did try sealing it and I do, I do really think that that has helped. So my plan is to continue sealing as I go. Um, I am going to, I still need to reach out to the owner of Cooper Diamonds just to let them know that um, these popping drills are very much a problem. And if, if sealing as I go wasn't going <laughs> to do the trick, then that would have made this a really kind of tedious project to work on because popping drills are so stressful to me. <laughs> so I'm relieved that um, sealing seems to be doing the trick. But this is the first of four canvases. Oops, you can see <laughs> my last project down there. This is the first of four canvases, four panels that will make up this project. There's the tree over here. I wanted to show you more of the canvas here. Um, and I'm over halfway done with this particular um, panel. And I am hoping that I can put a good dent in it this month. 
I'm not planning to participate in any events this month, so I would love to give this event, this canvas, this project, a lot more of my time and attention. I would love to maybe knock out this first panel before too, too long, but we'll see. One step at a time. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Um, but it has been fascinating. And uh, while the scope of it still can overwhelm me a little bit, and I really think that this is going to take me probably a year to complete this whole thing, I'm still really enjoying it. So I'll take that for what it is. Anyway, again, this is my progress on this particular project, which is like I said, Dragon Race Into the Night. I think I neglected to mention that the artist is Rose Khan. And each of these panels is about uh, 96, 95, 96 by 70 centimeters. Uh, so multiply that by four and that's gonna be the final size of this project. Anyway, you guys, I also wanted to go ahead and give you just a really small sneak peek at what I will be at least starting off this, uh, the month of April with as far as other projects, because I do like to have other projects going at the same time as this one. So let me pull that over to show you guys. So after requesting the input of actually my Patreon, <laughs> I was like, help me decide. Um, I decided to work on this particular kit, which the name of this kit is um, Moon Owl Magic. I wanted to say like Warm Owl Magic. <laughs> what? No, I'm thinking back to like Warm Witch, which was the kit that I worked on last Reels and Chills. But no, this is Moon Owl Magic. This is from the artist Chris Abai and uh, licensed by Diamond Art Club. And um, I am participating in the Halfway to Halloween non-event. I'm thinking it's just kind of like a diamond paint along that my friends Jamie and Jacqueline over on Instagram, that's Jamie underscore paints and Diamond Art Sparkles. Um, they had chatted and said, you know, we don't really want to wait until October to work on all of our Halloween kits. We have so many Halloween kits in our stash and fun Halloween accessories to use. Why should we have to wait until October? Let's do a halfway to Halloween event <laughs> and work on some of these kits. And I'm like, yeah, that sounds like a fantastic idea. So uh, this was the kit that I ended up deciding to work on. I'm not sure if I'll work on another one after this as well. This one is 51 by 51 centimeters. So it's not huge, but we'll see um, if I'm gonna feel up to doing another one after this. But if you'd like to join along, I believe that the hashtag that they're using on Instagram is just hashtag halfway to Halloween DP. Um, like I said, it's not an official event. There's no prizes. There's no like official entry or anything. It's just kind of like, hey, you want to work on some Halloween kits with us? That kind of thing. So thank you girls so much for putting that on. Um, but I guess I did say earlier, I was like, I'm not planning to do any events this month. That was a lie. Um, <laughs> but this is not really an event. So maybe it wasn't a lie. Anyway, uh, I did start this one yesterday on April 1st, not in April Fool's, but I thought since I'm filming this video on April 2nd, I'll go ahead and give you guys just a little peek. I just worked on uh, kind of the first section and a half. I'm planning to jump around on this canvas a little bit, like, cause I kind of want to end on her face. And so I'm going to split this into, I think five rows is what I measured it out as. Yes, I am that spaz that like measures out my sections so that I am going to have even sections. Just, I know, I know, I know I'm weird. Even sections throughout, it just, it makes me happy. Anyway, I think I'm going to have five rows total uh, uh, from top to bottom. And I think just every once in a while, I like leaving kind of the focal points or the fun sections um, for last. And so I may do that, like do one or two rows at the top and then one or two rows at the bottom and then finish kind of in the middle. So... Anyway, uh, other plans for the month, um, besides working on this kit for halfway to Halloween and hopefully spending lots of time on my Hade conversion, um, I think I'll also have a goal of working on a kit from a new to me company. I've been a little bit better about doing that sort of thing. Uh, or if not necessarily a new to me company, if it's a company that's made like changes and upgrades and I haven't had a chance to try out one of their more upgraded kits, um, trying out one of those as well would work for me. <laughs> so uh, we'll see. I'm kind of holding this month loosely. We'll just see what I'm kind of in the mood to work on. Um, but otherwise, that's really what I have. Um, I think that once we get into the summer months, <laughs> it's going to be a little busy with things like events that I may or may not be co-hosting. Stay tuned. We'll have some more information for you guys here this month for sure. Um, and then in the fall, there's drills and chills. So um, I'm taking advantage of having some quieter months here in the spring. So 
Anyway, you guys, that was my month in review for March 2022. I really hope that you guys enjoyed sort of this going down this little recap journey with me. And more than anything, I hope that it was just helpful to see some completed canvases from a variety of different companies to see the different things that different companies have to offer. I love it. So let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to link to all of these kits directly below if I can. If nothing else, I'll link to the companies and, and the artists and whatnot. But let me know if you have any questions. I'd be happy to help. And really, I would also love to hear about what did March look like for you? Did you achieve any really fun goals? Uh, did you complete any kits or work on any kits that you're really excited about and want to share? I would really love to hear about it. Let me know down in the comment section. You can also let me know if you have any fun plans for April as well. Um, I'd love to hear about it, genuinely. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, would you mind giving it a thumbs up? And uh, if you're not already subscribed, I wanna see lots more diamond painting content from me throughout the month um, and you know, on. <laughs> Feel free to subscribe if you like, and you can even hit the bell to be notified when I do share new videos. All right, my friends, thanks again for hanging out. I hope you have a really wonderful rest of your day and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.